Yo, what's going on boys? Today I have another Black Ops 6 video for you today. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, a little bit of a different style. I wanted to jump on here and kind of just go over my thoughts. Uh, we are, you know, the first weekend of the beta is coming to a close. And I basically just wanted, you know, to share my thoughts, good, bad, and the ugly on what I think of the game. The gameplay isn't some insane score. I'm not one of these reverse boosting uh, YouTubers that go out and farm absolute Timmy's for gameplays. These are just normal lobbies. This isn't even an impressive score. This is just... I, I basically use these gameplays in purpose just so you guys can see what an average game looks like for me. Um, when I'm not, you know, popping off or whatever. Typically, I'll be super selective with gameplay. And, um, you know, try to make it as, you know, high kill or as impressive of a score as possible. But I think for this style of video, I wanted to go over just my average normal experience with the game. And we're going to go over what I like about the game and what I don't like about the game and what I think needs to be changed. And I, you know what? I'm going to actually start off with the things that I like. Um, thing number one, I actually really like the aesthetic of this game. It's more so the maps. I really like how each map is in its own separate, unique location. On top of that, the weapons too. I feel like the, the, the Modern Warfare 3 weapons that we got last year... Like, they just weren't, like, I feel like the Modern Warfare 2 weapons last year were a little bit more cool. So I like the overall aesthetic of the maps. I like the weapons. Uh, a big thing is I love the new attachment system. So if you guys are, you know, if you guys haven't got a chance to play the beta or you just don't know this. Um, so the attachments basically only benefit your gun for the most part. Uh, there's not really a lot of downsides to the attachments. Typically, you know, you would... You would put on a long barrel on your weapon or something that extends range and it would basically just kill your gun either through recoil or handling or you know something stupid like that it's more of a streamlined system it's more of a classical cod system we're back to having just benefits from the attachments which i absolutely love it kind of makes because you know in modern warfare 3 and even modern warfare 2 i was kind of afraid to change my loadout once i found one that worked because I didn't want to hurt my gun more than I was helping it. So that's a, obviously a really huge change. Is just the overall attachments. Um, one thing I also really like in this game is the sound design. I feel like it's actually... I feel like a lot of people don't really talk about this. But I, I And I also mentioned it in my first ever game that I ever recorded on this game. And I pointed out the, the sound it makes when you get a kill is just such a satisfying sound. Um... The sound of the weapons, the sound of the killstreaks, like the Overwatch Halo. When you call in the Overwatch Halo, it makes a really nice sound when it shoots. Like overall, everything about the aesthetic, the sound, the weapons, everything is just very Black Ops. It's just, it's super, super cool, and I, I I'm just really a big fan of it. Um, this, this may be an unpopular opinion, but I actually think the weapon balance in this game is actually really, really great. Um. Apart from the Jackal, obviously, everyone knows the Jackal PDW is absolutely just destroying at all ranges. Medium, long, close. Like, the, the Jackal PDW is so overtuned for a sub. Um, but if we take the Jackal out of the equation, the, the guns are actually very well balanced. And I think that's because of the 100 HP. And I know a lot of people were having mixed uh, reactions with the 100 HP. Uh, a lot of people didn't like it. A lot of people don't like dying very quick. I'm actually a very big fan of 100 HP. And I was kind of sad, you know. I was kind of sad last year when we went to Modern Warfare 3 and it was 150. You know, it's, it's not a huge deal. But I feel like way more weapons are able to be viable when we have 100 HP. And it's kind of just better for everybody, to be honest. Um... So yeah, I th that might be everything that I like about the game. Um, yeah, I like the aesthetic. I like the sound design. I like I really like the weapon balance, apart from the PDW, like I said. Um, I like the streaks so far. I like the streak system. I like how we're back to score streaks. And uh, one thing I wasn't really a fan of day one, but it can agree on me, is the assist count as kill. So if you guys aren't aware, if you just damage someone or hurt them if you get an if you get an, an assist in any way on this game it counts as an elimination so if you put one bullet into someone and your teammate does the the rest of the damage and gets the kill 
you still get an, an elimination and full score credit which i didn't really like it i didn't really like it to start but that really grew on me um yeah that's that's pretty much everything that i uh, really enjoy about the game now we're going to go into the negatives and surprisingly the more i play the game the longer the negative list gets and the biggest one the elephant in the room the biggest thing i have to say is skill-based matchmaking is an absolute joke it i i don't know what it is I, I i hope i really hope that this sort of smooths out in the second weekend of the beta but this first weekend for me i know everybody's gonna have different experiences uh because everybody's at a different skill level i think i'm cl i'm close to a 3kd on this beta i i'm not 100 sure what my kd is last time i did the little thing on twitter it was like 2.3 or something so i have over a 2kd on this beta and i feel like i'm struggling which is which is insane to say because you know i'm well above average when it comes to the kd of this game and i still feel like i'm struggling um skill based matchmaking is one of those things like your whole you know your whole experience on the game is basically just manipulated by an algorithm which is it's not a good feeling to be honest especially when you watch these uh youtubers i'm not gonna name any names but you watch these streamers dude and they're they have three three nukes in one video it's like so unrealistic of what's of what 99 percent of the player base is going through um so yeah skill based matchmaking is definitely my biggest gripe uh on this game secondly it's the maps i i know a lot of people like these maps but i feel like and and, and this once again this could be down to majority of my play time being hard point in team deathmatch uh, I, I like i would never really go out of my way to play hard point in team deathmatch i i really like a more predictable experience like hard point um you know modes like that capture the flag I, i'm more of a fan of that that's why you know for even free for all is pretty it's pretty predictable um i guess i i guess i do like team deathmatch but not on this game i think team deathmatch on this game is absolutely horrendous so is hard point i feel like and, and I mean, you can even see it in this gameplay, and I chose this gameplay specifically, is, like, I'll die and spawn at the other side of the map where the enemies are spawning, or I'll die, walk forward, and then the whole team spawns behind me. Like, the spawn system with these maps, like, when they're constantly flipping like this with on hardpoint and Team Deathmatch, it's just, it's not really a fun experience. And as you can see with the scoreboard right now, my entire team left. This is the average game for me. This is what skill based matchmaking looks like. It's not so that the other players are good. It's that my team are so much worse than the enemy team. So what ends up happening is everybody just leaves. It's not fun for literally anybody. Um. So yeah, the spawn system on these maps. I feel like these maps just, you know, I I really like. I want, I'd, oh my god, it just came back to my mind. I really like the, the creator class system. Sorry, I know. I think the creator class and the perk system is, is uh, very good. It lets you, you know, really tailor your gameplay to your uh, your class setup to your gameplay. So that's one thing I missed out. I went straight to the bot and didn't even praise the creator class system. Um, yeah, these maps, these maps, in my opinion, don't really offer um, for a wide variety of gameplay. And that's a lot. I think that's something that they're going for and it's something that. A lot of people say that it does, but in my experience, you know, I'm more of a slower player. These guys in my games are absolutely cracked out of their mind, bro. I, I, if if I didn't play slow on this game, and I, you know, I'm I'm more of an AR player, LMG, you know, sit back, play for streaks. I'm more of that player. Um, these these maps, in my opinion, just don't really fit that sort of play style. Uh, it's, it's like I said, dude. It, it, if you stand still for five seconds, you have the entire enemy's team spawning behind you. It, it, it literally doesn't make any sense. And you know, if you're someone who just wants to run around in the beta and shoot everything, you probably won't notice that. But next time you play Black Ops Six, you know, especially if you guys haven't really played it before, um, and you're going to experience it with the free-to-play weekend next uh, week, try slow down your gameplay and really try to pay attention to the game. And you guys will see that the spawn system and everything at the minute just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Um, 
So yeah, spawn system and maps, I'm, I'm really not a fan of in this game. I like the location, I like the aesthetics of the maps, but I really am not a fan of the map design in this game. Um, what else? I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to think this. Once again, this is my first ever time playing this Gali map, this, this 6v6 face-off. Once again, it's just designed for push the left stick forward and just be brain dead. Um, what else? The streaks. I think the streaks are very bad in this game. The over the the watchdog helo sucks. The hellstorm missile sucks. And not only do they suck, they are very expensive. Like a hellstorm missile in the older games is like seven hundred score, seven fifty. Bro, the hellstorm missile in the current build of the game is twelve hundred score, dude. 1200 score for a hailstorm missile that's a 12 kill streak if you're not playing the objective if you're i'm pretty sure if you're playing team deathmatch i'm pretty sure it is 12 kills for a hailstorm missile and like you barely get any kills you maybe get one maybe two kills with the hailstorm but for a 12 kill streak that is so bad um so yeah streaks in my opinion need a little bit of a rework i think it's way too hard to get streaks i don't like the fact that you can't loop the streaks no looping of the streaks that's one big thing that they did last year in modern warfare 3 halfway through the life cycle they made it so you can loop the streaks and earn multiple sets of streaks in one life double swarm you know double advanced uav whatever and that's a major step back in my step back in my opinion um but overall honestly overall i think black ops 6 has a lot going for it like i said with the aesthetic and how satisfying it is to play I feel like a lot of my issues, you know, with the game, skill-based matchmaking, map variety, I feel like I feel like we need more medium to long, uh, medium to large maps on this game. I feel like there's just not a lot of variety. Everything sort of feels the same because every map is so small. But I feel like when Black Ops 6 actually comes out, I feel like a lot of my problems with this game will be solved. You know, I'll be able to play the modes that I want to play and I'll have more access to the maps. But yeah. That's it, boys. I hope you guys uh, enjoy the gameplay. And, uh, yeah, catch you in the next one. Let me know, by the way, let me know if you like this style of video. Uh, odds are, if you're still here listening to me ramble on, odds are that you did. And let me know if you want more of these. All right? All right, catch you in the next one. Love you, boys.